Here are some of the most common Edexcel trigonometry questions. Do you know how to answer this one? So we've basically got a trapezium here actually. So we've been asked to work out the size of angle CDA, which is this one here. However, we've only got information on the left hand side so far. I'm going to create another triangle by drawing a line down at C. In order to find an angle using trigonometry, we need to know two sides of this triangle over here. Currently, we already know that the height is six because of this rectangle in the middle, but I also therefore want to know the base. So I need to use the information on the triangle on the left to work out the base of that triangle so that then I can subtract the yellow part and 10 from 24 to find the base of the other triangle. For the first triangle, I can actually use Pythagoras' theorem because I have two sides and one missing. To solve that, I should get 4.5 centimeters for A. So to find the green bit, I can just subtract 24, 10, and 4.5. So that leaves me with 9.5. Now that I have two sides for the triangle on the right, I can use trig to work out the angle. So we have the opposite and the adjacent, which means I need to use tan. Tan of an angle is the opposite divided by the adjacent, and I would need to use tan inverse on my calculator, which gives me an angle of 32.3 to one decimal place. If you found this helpful, make sure to check out the GCSE Math Pro YouTube channel where you can find full videos going through everything that we've just seen.